Ever since the release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker's teaser trailer over at Star Wars Celebration in Chicago, it left a lot of fans very eager and excited to see the next set of footage by director J.J. Abrams. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. So with each and every month that passes by, we are not only getting closer to the official release of this movie, but we are also getting closer to the trailer 2 of Episode 9 that is all set and ready to launch on August 24th of this this year over at of course D23 which is where Disney and Lucasfilm are also going to be giving us new looks at the Mandalorian and the Clone Wars season 7 and everything related to the Star Wars franchise so look forward to that. Now these past couple of weeks or so we've been learning a whole lot more about this film and when it all comes down to various shot descriptions of the upcoming trailer this is where things begin to get very exciting for episode 9. Now specifically shot descriptions consisting of Rey wielding her blue ignited light saber where she is walking around inside of the wreckage of the Death Star where it's said to be a very dark and gritty shot where Rey uses her saber to light up the area almost as if it's a flashlight. It's said that as Rey is walking through the wreckage she appears to be afraid of a dark presence. This is one of the shots that are planned where the Palpatine dialogue will be placed over the shot provided by Ian McDermott talking about the nature of the dark side. Additionally one of the other sequences involves a shot of Kylo Ren wielding his ignited lightsaber while he is said to be sprinting while leading a whole army of red storm troopers called the red fury that is followed by a bird's eye view of kylo ren and his troopers running toward a resistance base the sequence is said to be very lord of the rings-esque as far as the cinematography goes the next provides a glimpse of Rey meditating in a cave full of blue glowing crystals with her eyes closed where dialogue of luke by mark hamill plays over the shot talking about that Rey as the start of a new generation and that only she can help him, most likely referring to Ben Solo. The last goes over both Rey and Kylo Ren standing in front of each other on a stone bridge, with both of their sabers ignited while dozens of the TIE echelons and orange X-Wings are fighting in the background in the sky. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, we do know that episode 9 is going to offer a lot of these action-packed sequences, and so far from what it seems, J.J. Abrams really is trying to sell this movie as an all-out war and a war to end all wars, as John Boyega has said over a year ago that that is exactly what this movie is going to be. So the first thing that I do want to go over is how Rey goes inside of the Death Star wreckage. Now, the thing that gets me, I'm starting to wonder as to exactly how she's going to get to the Death Star wreckage. Now, as we saw at the very end of the teaser trailer, they're quite a way from where the Death Star is in the middle of the ocean. So, I'm led to believe that they somehow are able to swim there or maybe create some kind of raft that actually allows Rey to go over to that location. Or maybe she just swims there like she did in, of course, The Last Jedi. You know, a lot of fans were always wondering how is Rey, no, you know, able to swim and stuff like that so maybe jj abrams is going to expand off of that ability for ray in order to do something like that that's the only thing that i think a lot of fans are going to want to figure out here is exactly how are they going to get from point a to point b because we've never seen something like that before in a star wars film maybe they won't even explain it we'll have to wait and see once it hits theaters now the other piece that i do want to go over that really does intrigue me a lot involves a moment in which we have kylo ren elite leading an army of his red stormtroopers called the Red Fury. Now this particular scene is said to be very Lord of the Rings-esque. Now that to me sounds very impressive because that tells us that this movie is going to be pretty much full of chaos and action and a lot of sacrifices and losses from both ends, right? From both the Resistance and the First Order. And I think that's what's really going to make this movie feel like some of the characters are just on the edge of losing their lives. You know, we do know that this movie is going to have a lot of emotional moments in it as well. So I'm wondering exactly, you know, what's going to happen during this battle between the Resistance and the First Order where Kylo Ren is leading his Red Fury troopers. Now, these new Red Troopers are said to be far more dangerous than any trooper that fans have ever seen in the Star Wars franchise in history. I'm not quite sure exactly what makes them more dangerous, but we'll have to wait and see. They could very well be more well-trained. We do know that the code name, all right, the actual code names for these troopers are called Sith Troopers. So they could have something to do with having knowledge of the dark side for all we know. 
Now, the other piece that I do want to go over is the moment in which we have both, of course, Rey and Kylo Ren standing in front of each other on a stone bridge. That bridge most likely belongs to the headquarters of the First Order, as well as the dialogue of Luke Skywalker referring to Rey as the start of a new generation and the last hope for him. Most likely that means, of course, Kylo Ren slash Ben Solo. So there's still a plan in place in order for Rey to turn Kylo Ren back to being Ben Solo again. Now we do know that Daisy Ridley actually spoke about the ending just, I think, I think it was yesterday actually on Good Morning America. And she said the ending to the movie is just epic. She was also on Jimmy Fallon. She said it was an epic ending and that fans are really in for a treat and stuff like that. So that's one thing to truly look forward to seeing in episode nine. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.